What up with y'all? This is Jeremiah McPherson. Hallelujah, Johnson. Coming right back at you. This is an intro for Cardio Day number 11. Uh, this Cardio Day, we did pretty good. I did my long run a little longer, so I did my first 10-mile run. It was at a kind of slow pace, so I'm still um, putting a workout plan together to um, get that neural muscular connection more so with my type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers so I can get a faster pace going also working on the cardio to bring more oxygen to the muscle and um, making sure the cardiovascular system is functioning right but also getting that muscle going because on the fast runs I didn't go as fast as the pace I thought I was capable of and it was only my first and second fast paced runs but working on that neuromuscular connection so I can get those uh, bigger muscles twitching to get a faster pace and so I can get the uh, uh, mitochondria and all the adaptions and capillaries going in my muscles so it, I was reading a book on the science of running and it was talking about how it takes a long time to get those muscles integrated like in the African runners that are so good at running marathons that they've been doing it since they were like kids because they had to run to school. So it takes uh, some years to get those muscles intertwined. But I still think I can have a faster pace and also just taking that first step to getting a faster pace to I'm more so happy with my performance. I'm happy with my performance for just the simple fact of doing it, but I think I can I can do better for my age and how much how long I want to put in the sport of running and jogging in my cardiovascular system. So that was a little bit of a long intro, but I did my first 10 mile run. I think that's my first 10 mile run ever I ever recorded. So I'm happy about that, and hopefully it's a little motivation for everybody. So I'm almost there at that point where I can. Um, do half marathons so we are gonna try to keep it up this next run I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do a 10 mile run I'm probably gonna do about a seven mile run and then so I'm working bringing it up bringing it down so my body can get used to that that type of stress and also also applying new stress to the body so my body can adapt and so I don't hit a wall I'm gonna take a little bit of it off and then um, the next run after that, I'll do another 10-mile run. And then uh, probably instead of doing every other one, I'll probably keep that up for a minute, just a 10-mile run. And then I'll, I'll probably finally hit a new peak of doing a half marathon. So we're going to take it slow, give our body times to heal and adapt, and um, keep it fun. And I'm having a ball. So let's get into my disciplines, even though I was alone, I try to make it a little faster. I got a lot to say. We got 1,825 days of simple disciplines, 1,825 days of studying, 1,825 days of building myself, teaching myself how to think, 1,825 days of my disciplines giving me confidence, 1,825 days of keeping the mind sharp because it is a weapon, 1,825 days of bringing more value to the job than they're paying me for, 1,825 days of looking forward to my planned future, not negative things in my past. 1825 is a boxing. 1800. This is a new one right here. I got this from from Think and Grow Rich, a Black Choice. Napoleon Hill wrote Think and Grow Rich, but he also wrote a black version of it for uh, the minorities. But at the time when he put Think and Grow Rich out, once he put the black version together, his publisher didn't let it put it out. And so another black writer, I forgot the author name, that wrote for Napoleon Hill on this, he put it out. And this was a big point that stuck out with me. He was talking to us about, um, well, me or us, whoever's watching, about black culture. And so when he he did this for, when he wrote this section right here, for um, not so just much for black people, but white people go through poverty. It's just that we're the minority and they're the majority. So even if you white, Asian, whoever you are, this is good. If you're coming from or you know where I'm coming from, even if you got the money and you come from a well-off family, this is real important. It's, I'll put this in my disciplines for every day. It's 1,825 days of coordinating my activities and directing my mind to an ends of my choice. 
So I think that's a real good one. I'm going to be saying that one now. 1,825 days of cardio, 1,825 days of doing porn, 1,825 days of working out, 1,825 days of tracking my calories, 1,825 days of working on my strategy, 1,825 days of Mongo mentality, 1,825 days of going to work, 1,825 days of consistently working, 1,825 days of reading, listening to audio books, 1,825 days of journaling, 1,825 days of recording content, 1,825 days of sticking to my values. I use 825 days of keeping it pimping, 825 days of staying so icy on these bitches, 825 days of making money from porn I make. We got a few things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful doing porn is a major discipline of mine. I'm grateful to be able to walk, talk, and physically be able, capable to work. I'm grateful to be able to work on my thought process, to be able to bring more money in. As a man thinketh. His outer world is a reflection of his inner world. So I, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to work on my thoughts and the flaws. Sometimes where I get down or I have a negative opinion on stuff, how do I can change that opinion and turn it around and how I should look at it. It's, it's a process because sometimes it's painful because you feel that pain. So a negative reaction on them automatically comes out at the time or even later down the road so to grab those negative thoughts or those negative outlooks or opinion on stuff and then be able to turn around and correct your thought process i'm really grateful for that uh, we got plan 5150 taking one step in the direction you want to go in is so important extremely important i've seen from experience and in history and i heard testimonials how much you can get done and get what you want out of life if you take the momentum from that one step and stay disciplined and keep going that first step with the intention to get what you want out of life that first step take one step so that first step taking one step and um I can explain it like a workout I've been doing my workouts consistently for about three or four years now and it's still hard to get started sometimes it's easier now because it's a habit, but it's still like sometimes you still just feel blah, but more so like right now, I know I need to work out. I'm going to do my study and I got some other stuff I need to do, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to work out and it's I'm more confident, but sometimes getting started, it's hard to get in that groove. So that never really changed. And I remember saying that on video before, but, um, it's a habit now. And um, taking that one step is so important. I kind of lost my train of thought right there, but taking that one step is so important because um, it's a chemical with the workout thing I was saying, getting started. It's a, it's a chemical and it's a hormone thing. And sometimes you got to do a few push-ups to get those right chemicals and hormones, get the adrenaline pumping, get your blood flowing. And it's the same thing when you um, taking an action or uh, starting a new discipline. Taking that first step is so important and to look where you made a mistake or you failed to remember how much neglecting and taking that one step hurts or you regret not taking that one step at first are you able to have the foresight or the hindsight to see where you're going to end up if you don't take that step to capture that pain and that feeling from the old look into the future and to hold that and to keep walking and keep walking and keep going and to see the prize at the end of the rainbow if you just keep going with that being said fuck every democrat and republican fuck april jones fuck bambi fuck stephanie santiago fuck lebron fuck drea fuck puffy fuck dr dre fuck jay-z fuck beyonce fuck kanye west fuck tiger fuck sauce walker fuck kim kardashian fuck the gang fuck Wes watson fuck eric thompson fuck floyd mayweather fuck 50 cent fuck ct fletcher fuck the hawk fuck rihanna fuck Anthony Gallo, fuck Paul Xavier, fuck the white boy neighbor, the two bitches, fuck Kelly Muscle, fuck Jocko, fuck 21 Savage, fuck Meek Mills, fuck Lauren London, and fuck Snoop Dogg. So let's read a few quotes for today. I had it, um, a few quotes in mind. Like I said, the book from Thinking Grow Rich, a black choice from Napoleon Hill and the other black author. Um, he, have, he gives a lot of examples of black people that excel, like a black woman designed the dime. Franklin D. Roosevelt is on the diamond. She drew that picture of Franklin D. Roosevelt. So that's real big. That's real big. I like that a lot.
I keep that in mind a lot. A lot. I can read this one because I can't. Uh, this is from Bruce Lee. Keep blasting because life is such that sometimes it's nice and sometimes it's not. Keep blasting. Oh, I might not be able to get to what I want, the ones I want to. Um, this is from Bruce Lee. The point to make about the ego that a man should use his ego and not be used or blinded by his ego. Let's see. I wanted one, a quote, but it's so many good ones. Uh, I think this is one of the one. This is from James Ball. When you have to decide who you are and force the world to deal with you, not with this idea of you. Now, I think I was listening to Les Brown going off with uh, James Baldwin just said connecting the two um, speakers. Sometimes your plan, your goals, your dreams, your discipline is yours. It's not nobody else's. So sometimes what they think is right, it's not going to be right for you because it's not their plan. It's not their goals. It's not for them to achieve. It's for you to achieve. It's not for them. It's not theirs. It's their shit, and they shouldn't have shit to say about it because it's not theirs. It's yours. So do force people to deal with you. This is from Albert Einstein. One should guard against preaching to young people success in the customary form as a man aims in life. The most important motive for work in school and in life is pleasure in work, pleasure in its results, and the knowledge of the value of the results to the community. I didn't get to all the ones I want to get, but we're going to stop right there. This is Jeremiah McPherson, Hallelujah Johnson. This is Cardio Day number 11. I hope I said day number 11 at first, but this is Cardio Day number 11, and uh, we did a 10-mile run. So I'm gonna post the stats, the little video I shot when I was running my warm up, and so um, yeah, I've been working out consistently, and um, I'm right back at y'all. Before you start your run, so let's make a start straight away. I'm just gonna start by up nice and tall, marching on the spot, loosening those arms and shoulders, and we're gonna gradually stretch your body, but also we need to wake those muscles up and wake heart and lungs up. So we're gonna pick up the pace in terms of cardiovascular work a little bit but I just wanted to kind of over exaggerate the march on the spot just loosening everything in the body so if you particularly if you be, be, if you have just been sat down we just need to give it a little loosener and then we're going to start to pick up the pace a little bit by working through the torso through the arms and shoulders through all of the leg muscles front and back okay so we're going to start into the hamstrings by just starting to Again, shoe the chickens, I do this one a lot. So dig in the left heel into the floor, send the hips backwards and shoe those chickens away. Dig the right heel into the floor, shoe those chickens. A couple of little steps in between and we're alternating left and right. I want to keep it dynamic. Look nice and tall as you come back up and breathe in, try and keep the shoulders relaxed. Feel a stretch down the, the hamstrings, maybe a little bit into the calf muscles as well. How are your hamstrings right now? Is one tighter than the other? That's it. So we're going to go into the hip flexors at the front as well as the hamstrings on this one now. So what we're going to do, so hip flexors at the front here which do this, the hip flex. So we're going to wake up the hamstrings at the same time as well. So hands onto the hips and all we're going to do is kick the, the toes forwards and up, keeping the legs as straight, as comfortable as we can. Engage the abs a little bit as well. So we're kicking, we're not going too aggressively with the kick, we're just loosening the body, but also waking those muscles. Make sure the, the kick comes from here at the front. Look nice and tall, hands to the hips, keep breathing in a nice kind of conscious way. Set your breathing pattern for your run as we're doing the warm up. So in and out through the nose if you're able to and try and keep your breathing, your inhale and your exhale roughly even. Okay, see if you can just kick a little bit further now, a little bit more, again not too aggressively, don't want to push too far, but just that little bit more. Okay, we're going to 
gonna add a little torso twist into this now and a little bit of balance, a little bit more balance. So as we're kicking now, we're gonna kick the opposite hand towards the toes and twist a little bit and look over the other hip. And as we do that, we're also gonna bring, so as we bring left hand to right foot, I'm gonna bring my right arm back and twist and open up over the hip. So there, nice big twist and open up. Opposite side, twist and open up. So I'm actively pushing my other hand backwards. So you get a really good big torso twist, as well as the hamstring, the hips area as well. Shoulders and the neck, keep the shoulders relaxed. And if yours doesn't look like this, don't judge your body against my body. Everybody is different. Everybody has different length bones, different length muscles. Okay, I'm nearly there. It should feel good to just twist it out. Warm up and wake up the body. Last one. Okay, have a couple of little steps in between. Shake the arms out. Should be starting to feel a little bit looser. Okay, this time I'm going to go a little bit more into those hamstrings to get our hamstrings used to that pulling motion that they do as we run. And all we're going to do is side to side, step. And as we do that, we're butt kicking. But we're going at about a medium to fast pace with this. So we're stepping side to side and kick your heels towards your bum. Stay up nice and tall. And really wake up those hamstrings, so keep the heel as close to the bum as you can. So what is your purpose for running right now? So my purpose for running, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do a little bit of a hill effort. I'm going to go up and down this hill a few times that's near our house. And my purpose is I want to get outside, I want to have a break from work and have a break from the busyness of being a parent and I just want to have some me time and I just want to have some nice enjoyable time running and testing my body. So that's my purpose. Okay, so let's just shake it out now. I'm going to loosen it. I'm going to go into the quads. Now I'm going to give them a little stretch there and a little bit of stretch, stretch into the hip flexors. So bring the right hand, right foot into the right hand. I'm going to pulse that back, bring the head forwards. As much as you comfortably can, you're going to wake up the left glute as well as you bend the left knee and lean forwards. And then if you can, bring the left hand that little bit further forwards and then slowly stand back up. We're going to alternate with this. Stand into the right foot, left foot into the left hand, pull the knee back. Bring the head down, keep this right knee bent, reach the right hand forwards. A little bit of a pause and alternate. So we're switching left and right. You don't have to go at my pace, but as long as you're just doing this and make sure it's conscious movement, you're not flicking the leg out too aggressively from the hand and everything nice and smooth and conscious and can squeeze in the tummy muscles bending the knee wakes up the thighs and that bum that little bit more so if you can just challenge yourself to have a little bit more of a knee bend now let's do one more each side Ooh. Waking everything up that bit more. Okay, and then again, have a little bit of a shake out. Let's go into the calf muscles now, as well as the ankles. So what we're going to do is we're going to step into a lunge. As we do that, we're going to push this knee forward, keep the foot flat. So we're getting that work into the ankle and the Achilles and the calf muscle area and step back. Lunge into it and then push that knee forward, keeping the foot flat. A little bit of a pause at the bottom. So lunge the foot forward, push the knee. So we're getting the quads and the glutes as well. We really want to be focusing on calf and Achilles as much as possible. Alternating with that, really kind of just moving around a little bit, make sure it feels good. Warming it up. Getting used to them odd little missteps that we do every now and then. Might not feel perfectly aligned, so we just have a couple, little bit, bit of a wiggle with the knee forwards, back and sides. And really kind of pushing the big toe into the floor. Really waking up the, the foot as well. Okay. That's it. Okay, we're going to go a little bit more into the calf now, a little bit more energetic. So we're just going to start a little bit of a bounce. Get nice and tall, engage your abs slightly. And imagine you're just lightly skipping with a skipping rope. So we're just kind of bouncing, pushing, 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 like that constantly through the balls of the feet with a really light little heel tap. So really warming up those calves, ready to run. 
Okay, we're just going to switch this now. So we're going to go one foot forwards, the other foot forward, the other, other foot back into like a skier kind of exercise now. Again, we're picking up that intensity. Okay, keep breathing and bouncing nice and light. Try and keep your feet as light as you can. Trying to pound, pound into the floor. Okay, and then just walk it out. A couple of little steps. So again, we're going to keep that pace going. We're going to do a few steps, drive the left knee to the right elbow, a couple of steps, drive the opposite. So we're going to do that, a couple of light little steps, drive the knee, drive the knee and twist. Up nice and tall. Fast steps in between, drive the knee and twist. But still make sure you're conscious of squeezing the abs and then really driving the knee to elbow. So we're not using the momentum too much, we're using the muscles. Let's go a little bit quicker with our steps and the drives. Well done. We should be ready almost to run. How's your body feeling? Should be itching to go a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more explosive in this, this one that we're going to walk it out. In this one that we're going to today, we're going to just walk it out. So the next one, I'm going to go into an air skip. So what we're doing is bouncing, left knee drives, bounce, Right knee drives, so bounce, skip in between. So try and get into this rhythm if you can. Again, nice and energetic, and then when we, then we are ready to run. Okay, drive, bounce, drive, bounce, drive, bounce. Okay, up nice and tall. So let me know in the comments how this felt for you. If you're not sure what to put, put thanks for the warmer patch. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. This is a really free, simple way that you can say thank you for the video, Ash. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get my post every week if you're not subscribed. And share this with a fellow running friend or family member. Those four ways I have to ask every video. Because if you don't ask, you don't get. And more and more runners have seen this community enjoying it. We're almost there, shake it out. We are ready to run now. How are you feeling? So again, if you could engage with my channel and engage with this video. What up y'all? This is Jeremiah McPherson. Hallelujah Johnson. Day 11 of cardio. I started off with a slow pace. Cause I was going to do an extra two miles today on a long run day. I normally do seven, but this week we want to be progressive and systematic. So we're gonna do nine every other day this week. Or this eight runs before we do a high intensity two run out of the 10, so 80, 20. So we're gonna do nine miles every other day. I'm on mile six right now. So it's almost done. Just a light jog. Got the Wu-Tang playing on Pandora. Putting this work in, getting my shine, shine on at the night shift. This is Jeremiah McPherson, Hallelujah Johnson, and I'm right back at y'all.